Happy Halloween, everyone. My men tell me millennials enjoy creepy pasta narration. So in the spirit of Halloween, this is my attempt at reading a creepy pasta. Here it goes. You may have heard the legend of Sarah Avery, a woman so fat she has her own gravitational field and whose toxic farts could turn an entire city into retard zombies. She's so fat, not even black men will date her, only gamers. Urban legend says that if you go into a dark bathroom at night and chant, Sarah Avery, Sarah Avery, Sarah Avery, three times in front of the bathroom mirror, you will gain 600 pounds and die. But that is far from the scariest part of this legend. Did you know that Sarah Avery is at large? both literally and in the figurative sense. Many years ago, Sarah Avery escaped her prison compound and has been roaming the country in constant search of food to support her exponential growth. That's why on Halloween night, they say to never eat your candy before you return home from trick-or-treating. If Sarah Avery smells candy, she will pick you up and eat you, just like she ate Bubba the Black Jesuit's ginger boyfriend. This happened to a little Mexican child in El Paso, Texas. The Nino was out on Halloween night dressed as a burrito. Although the Nino wasn't yet fat enough to produce toxic farts, he was too fat to make it through a night of trick-or-treating without getting out of breath and needing to stop for a snack. Breathing heavily, the little Nino reached into his candy bucket like the plump, squishy little burrito boy he was. His sweaty, salt chica fingers scooped blindly through the candy bucket before grasping at a tasty, sugary box of hot tamales. Hot, tired, and drooling, the Nino tore open the box and began shoving mouthfuls of candy into his chubby mouth. There was a low, booming roar in the distance. But the sound wasn't thunder. Unbeknownst to the little Nino, these were the pounding, flat-footed, squishy footsteps of Sarah Avery. Her giant, fat girl nose had detected the scent of candy and was slowly descending upon its source. Like most Mexican children, the little burrito boy was out unattended in the middle of the street. He was easy prey for Sarah Avery to spot. Oblivious to the hungry fat girl in his midst, he continued to chow down his box of hot tamales. Sarah's stomach growled. It was a gurgling, wet, horrible sound. And this sound was what finally caught his attention, but it was too late. The boy saw a morbidly obese shadow cast over him. Assuming it was his mother, he turned to look behind him and saw the jaws of death. Hot tamale, Sarah bellowed with hunger. These were the last words the boy heard before being scooped up and swallowed by the monster. The little burrito boy was never seen again. Luckily, he was only a Mexican child, so his parents never noticed and had a dozen more children exactly like him. However, you may not be so lucky. Never open your candy while out trick-or-treating and always lock your doors when you get home with your candy or Sarah Avery might just come after you next. The end. I hope you enjoyed this special Halloween creepypasta I made for you. Comment down below if you are brave enough to chant Sarah Avery three times in front of your bathroom mirror tonight. Turn off the lights. Don't be a pussy. Comment again afterward and tell us what happened if you survive.
I would like to say a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Not only do you help me fight for true love and keep up the battle against the evil Jesuit order, but you guys are my friends and I really like hanging out with you. It's been a lot of fun. Like I said, we had a lot of fun on the movie night. So just thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Gail, Gail, Gail. Gail, 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 Gail.